Good morning guys. This is going to be my morning chit chat and coffee along with a Dollar Tree haul. I went to the Dollar Tree yesterday morning and I picked up some goodies to show you guys. I have my coffee over here. Um, as you can see, I've drank a lot of it because you guys know I never can film a video without having to try and film it a couple times. Excuse me guys, let me get a drink of my coffee. It's getting really cold. It's actually almost gone, and I actually don't have my Folgers in there this morning. I have um, the Archer Farms Hazelnut Coffee. I don't like it. I will not be repurchasing it. Um, you guys know that I don't like strong coffee, so if I think a coffee's weak, it has to be ultra weak. It tasted like a really weak, watered-down um, like coffee with a very overwhelming hazelnut taste in it. And so I just didn't like it. However, I had ran out of my Folgers this morning because you guys know that I had to purchase my last um, coffee from the liquor store. And that's why I didn't get one of the big ones because they were ridiculously overpriced, which is why I bought the smaller one, um, which is why I already ran out. So I had my Starbucks coffee in the cupboard, um, my Dollar Tree, and then I had forgot I had... The Archer Farms Little Coffee. It's about that big. I had bought multiples of those last year for Christmas for stocking stuffers to put in people's presents. And I bought multiple flavors. Um, it was not expired and the hazelnut one was one of the ones I had left over and it we I had never opened it. So I was like, you know what, I'll go ahead and try it. And I had like maybe about that much left in my Folgers. So I added the Archer Farms hazelnut coffee into my filter and I mixed it up with the rest of the Folgers which was just a little bit and I just did not like it. I mix the Starbucks and the Dollar Tree coffee when I'm out as well so it's not too strong and then it's not too weak. Um, I would rather have the Dollar Tree coffee than this Archer Farms so that's what I'm drinking but I still have to have my coffee so so then I have my um, Krispy Kreme candle burning right there. It's almost done. So when it's done, I will switch it out to a different candle for my morning chit chats and my, you know, just to scent up my beauty room. Um, I have my quote on the computer screen and I decided to do some Marilyn Monroe quotes this morning because you guys know I absolutely adore and love Marilyn Monroe. Um, not only for her physical beauty, which obviously she's gorgeous, but for her attitude, um, she obviously isn't shy and she loved to be filmed and photographed, but when it came, when it came to her fame, she was very humble about it. Um, if you read any of her interviews, interviews with magazines or you watch any of her interviews, um, when they would ask her about her stardom or her fame, she was just very humble about it. And then... Yes, she was America's most loved, um, like, starlet or whatever in the prime of her being a star. But at the same time, if you research Marilyn Monroe, there were quite a few people that were jealous of her and that were mean to her or didn't like her. And the main thing that I loved about her is regardless of what people thought about her, said about her, she just did her thing and was confident and just didn't care what people thought and just did her that was the main reason that I really started liking Marilyn Monroe. Um, so this quote says, if I am a star, the people made me a star. Marilyn Monroe. And I used to collect Elvis back when I was like probably eight or nine. Um, I just, I don't know why, I just got into collecting Elvis. And my grandma and my mom or whoever, like at Christmas or my birthday, they would buy me Elvis stuff. And I don't really have any of the Elvis stuff anymore, except for my grandma had saved for me um, one of the collector's books. It was a really thick, huge Elvis book. And I believe, yeah, it was like showing his house. Um, like it was basically a um, look into his house and his life. And it had pictures of like Lisa Marie um, and the house and him. She saved that. And then there were these stamps that my grandma went down and bought um, back in the day. They were like a once in a lifetime thing and I remember they were almost sold out. My grandma had to wait in a big line to get them and they're actually worth money and my grandma bought those for me and they've never sold them again since. So she has those saved in my grandpa's gun cabinet and then I think one more thing that they might have is maybe this clock that 
Um, I don't know if my mom, I think my mom might have bought me the clock. Um, it was Elvis, and he was doing his famous dance move, and then the top stood still, but then his hips and his legs swung back and forth on the clock. So I just thought it was so cute. So then when I got older, I just started liking Marilyn Monroe, and there was this movie that my grandma had bought me on VHS of Elvis, and I don't remember the name, um, but I vaguely remember pieces of the movie in my head. If any of you guys know what it is, once I explain it, um, leave it in the comments below. It was basically, and I had a couple different Elvis movies, but this one I would watch over and over and over again. Um, and I just watch it by myself. It was about Elvis going to, there was two of them that I watched, but the Hawaii one I remember the most, where Elvis went to Hawaii and it had like the Hawaiian guys and they were dressed up. And I remember like a part where Elvis and the Hawaiian guys are in the canoe and they like flip the canoe upside down. And then there's parts where it shows Elvis like driving through the island in like a sportster car. I think it was a silver sports trick, I could be wrong. And then there's a lot of singing and dancing like on the beach and it's got the hula girls. And so I used to watch that movie like seriously over and over again. So I collected Elvis and then like I said, when I got older, I just got into Marilyn Monroe and I just really started collecting her. And, you know, just over the years, I just kind of just compiled so much of her stuff. So, um... If you look back at the older pictures of Marilyn Monroe when she was younger, she looks a lot different. She almost looks unrecognizable um, in her really younger pictures. Um, her hair was actually more red, and this one um, obviously still looks like her, but even younger than that, she looks really different. I think this picture is gorgeous, and I love this quote. It says, This life is what you make it, no matter what. You're going to mess up sometimes. It's a universal truth. But the good part is you get to decide how you're going to mess up and how you will make it better. Marilyn Monroe. So I just think this picture is gorgeous and I love that saying. So I'll go ahead and leave it on there. And then I will start showing you guys the stuff that I got from Dollar Tree. Um, you guys know they've had, they have and they've had tons of fall stuff out. And I've been refraining from buying fall stuff because I think it's just a little bit too early um, now it's getting a little bit closer, but even like three weeks ago, I was like, no, there's no way I'm buying anything fall. It's just way too early, but I thought this was way too cute to pass up and we're getting closer, you know, each day that goes by. We're not as far as we were three weeks ago. Excuse me, guys. Um, so I found this floor slash wall decal. Why it says floor decal, I don't know. I guess you can put it on your floor, which is kind of odd to me, but whatever. I thought this was so stinking adorable. It says, happy fall, y'all. And it's got the cute little owlies on it with the polka dots and the leaves. So I just definitely could not pass this up because I know this is going to go super fast. And you guys know at the Dollar Tree, if you see something and you pass it up and you like it, you try to wait. Um, it may be there, but chances are it's not going to be there and then you won't be able to find it again. So I almost bought two of these, but I was like, no, there's no reason to buy two. And they had these in a couple different, um, like designs and sayings. I also saw, um, the little, um, mats or rugs, whatever, not rugs cause they don't have carpet on them, but the little mats, I have a picture for Instagram. It's got, one has the fox, um, and it says like, welcome. One has the owl and then there's one with sunflowers, and then there's one more, I forget, there's like four or five different designs of the little mats, and I went ahead and passed those up as well. I did take pictures for Instagram because I don't want to go too crazy on the fall stuff, and then the only way I'll buy those mats is if they're super, super cute and I can't pass them up because I've bought so many of them for like Christmas and Halloween, and when I put them like in my kitchen, it drives me insane because I'm so particular about like where my stuff is and every time someone will step on it, it just moves because it's got no traction. It doesn't stay in place. So that's the reason I kind of stay away from those little mats because they drive me insane. The only way I'll get one, like I said, is if it's really stinking cute and the fall ones were really cute, but I don't want to have to deal with them, you know, being all moved around and Jordan and Robert stepping on them and they end up on one another side of the kitchen and blah, blah, blah. So nothing exciting. We needed another thing of the syrup and it's in the Harvest Hill light pancake syrup. It's the 24 fluid ounces. Um, this syrup is not my favorite because it's the light. Um, I think you can definitely taste the light. However, it's better than nothing. It's not super bad. 
Um, but I just don't know why don't they ever just get regular? Why is it only the light? Um, we have tons of pancake mix um, that we bought at Big Lots, like the huge bags of the ones you mix yourself. We have blueberry, um, original, just so much that we need to start making for breakfast. Then, um, you guys know on my hunt list, um, I had saw these at Dollar Tree tons of times, but wouldn't you know, right when I wanted them, I couldn't find them and they stopped getting them. And then you guys also know that my Dollar Tree was getting new flooring, so they were storing a lot of the boxes in the back. Um, they said they were getting the new flooring on Monday, so I decided to wait until Tuesday, which was yesterday, so there'd be more of a chance of them having the boxes out. Well, when I went, most of the floor was done, but not all of it, so they had brought out some of the boxes, but still not all of them. So I did find some of the stuff, and this was one of them. You guys know... Um, that I bought the bigger one, and I really wanted to find these, and I honestly didn't think I'd ever see them or find them again, so I was really excited that I found them. It's the microfiber facial scrubbers, and it comes with three. They had, I want to say, like eight different colors, and I just loved these colors, so I got three packs of them. I got the dark pink, like the hot pink, the bubblegum pink, and then I got this gorgeous mango color. This was kind of the color that my nails were last time. So I was really excited that I found another item on my hunt list. So I have nine of them and I almost was just going to get one pack, but I couldn't decide because I'm a Pisces. I'm so indecisive. I couldn't decide on the color. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to get all three or else I'm going to be here all day trying to decide on what color. It was really well, not really early, but it was early in the morning, and once again, I hadn't eaten breakfast, so I got a Donald Duck orange juice, and then I looked for the Lucky Charm cereal bars that you get two in the pack, and they were all bought up, so I've bought these before, so I bought these monkey bars, um, they're by Sean White, they're granola bars, I had bought them before, um, so I bought these, opened one, and ate it in the store, it just says, um, Sean White monkey bars, um, naturally flavored strawberry vanilla. It's got five of them and it's the net weight is 6.1 ounces and these are actually more calories than the Lucky Charms bar. The Lucky Charms bars are 100 calories each. These are 140 each and it's 100% natural um, chia granola, real fruit, prebiotic fiber, three grams of fiber, and four grams of protein. I actually think that they're pretty good for a dollar. Um, I wouldn't mind giving one of these to my son for breakfast. Um, I think they're yummy, and I think that they make a good little breakfast. Um, obviously, you might want to do a little something more like me. I told you guys, um, even 100 or 140 calories is not enough for me for a breakfast. I'll get shaky way too fast. Then, I think I already have this picture. Um, I was thinking at the store, do I have it? I know I had seen it before, but I contemplated it. I think I might have it because I have a big stack of these um, pictures. They just say wall art on the back in my closet because I switched them out with the ones on the wall. And it just says espresso. I think it's really cute. It's got this really cute border that goes around it. It's got the kind of mint greenish blue background. And then it's got the foam from the espresso, the really cute cup. And the only thing that I don't like about it, I love gold, but I don't like the gold border with it. And I think I do have this picture, and I think it might just be a black um, border around it. I like the fact that it's got the little jeweled bling in the corners. So you guys know I love, love coffee, so I had to get this. There's a specific coffee picture at Dollar Tree that I really want. Um, I saw it on DollarTree.com, and I have I think I found it one time, but the frame was broke. Then another not-so-exciting food item is the five-pack of Beef Top Ramen. Um, it's in the Nissan. This is not my favorite brand of Top Ramen, but my son likes to eat these sometimes, and he likes me to add stuff into them, um, like a soup, so I got that. Then, um, you guys know I have so many flippin' magnetic notepads, journals, um, stuff like that, but I thought this print was really cute. Um, I can't remember if I already bought this one. You guys saw the floral one, because 
I had put this in my cart last time, and I don't know if I passed on it or not, so I might have two of these, not sure. It's in the Jot brand, and it just says calendar notepad. It's got the cute um, pink leopard on the bottom, and then it's got the zebra. It's got the little um, pull-off calendar sticky things on the top, and then it's also magnetic, so you can stick it to your refrigerator, write notes, and then you've got the little calendar, 2016 calendar on the top. It says that it's got 55 sheets of paper on it, so I got that. They had different styles of those. They had one, um, I wanted to get like three of them, but you know, I just, that'd just be going crazy. Um, one of the ones I really liked was the one that it had a little teapot and a little teacup with a saucer at the bottom. I thought it was really cute. And then for my son's room, um, I got a little pop-up hamper. It's in the Essentials brand, and it just says pop-up hamper. It holds two loads of laundry, um, airflow mesh. It's easy carry handles, and then it's got that little side pocket. So if you want to take your laundry somewhere, it's got the handles, and then you can stick your um, fabric sheets in the side or whatever you want. So um, I showed you guys the hot pink mesh bag, but it wasn't a pop-up hamper. It was just... Um, a mesh bag with a drawstring and I decided to put that in the giveaway because I don't really ever need to take my laundry anywhere um, and the laundry I don't know what it is you guys I constantly am doing laundry constantly and for whatever reason the laundry just builds up every day like to get to the bottom of the basket and have it be empty is just unheard of in this house and it's not anything to do with like lack of me doing laundry or laziness it's just I don't know. We just go through so many clothes. So we can never have enough um, hampers or baskets. So this will go in my son's room so he can put his dirty clothes in the hamper instead of on the floor for mom to pick it. Then I got, I thought there was um, two more bags down here. One second, guys. Let me make sure that there's nothing that I already tried to film before. I already showed that. Okay. Then in the kind of like craft section or where they have the flowers and all that kind of stuff, I found this really cute decorative bird and it's a little clip and they had it in white, red and a really beautiful royal blue and I had originally had all three colors in my cart but I decided to wait on the red and blue. I will get the red and blue next time. Um, I think these would make beautiful um, Christmas tree ornaments just to clip them on one of the branches. I love the fact that it has the glitter on it, and this is the first time I had seen these birds at my Dollar Tree. Um, they always have birds, but these specific ones with the really glitzy glitter and then the tail feathers with the pretty metallic um, string on it, I had never seen them. So um, I'm definitely going to get the royal blue because it's super beautiful, and the red is as well, but just for now I got the white one. I thought it would be cute in my beauty room or on the Christmas tree or... Just maybe like in a floral arrangement or whatever. So I, I was excited about that little birdie. And then you guys know I love my little birdies that come up to my porch. And yes, I know the birds do not come to my porch to see me. I, I understand that. But I still love the little birdies. They come for the little perch. But I still um, call them my little buddies. Then um, I had seen this item as well. Um, but I think I passed up on it. Um, because I think the little top thing may have been messed up and they only had one more in this design. But this time they had tons of them. Um, it's the purse hangers and it's got the mag the little magnet on the back so it's magnetic. And you just um, put the magnet on the table and the little claw holds your purse. Um, I chose to get the zebra. They didn't have any leopard. They had one with a hot pink daisy flower. And then they had, I want to say three or four different little designs and I liked the zebra one so I'm always setting my purse down and I've had two people um, tell me like you are not supposed to put your purse on the floor you will be poor all your life like a superstition type of thing and not only that but the floor has so many germs so I don't want to continue to set my purse on the floor like yesterday when I went to the nail salon my purse was sitting on the floor next to me which is so bad then I thought these were a really good deal um, they had these wall taps and it's got three spots to plug in your stuff and then it's got that and we could definitely use these because we have so many different things, you know, electronics that we need to plug in and there's only two of the spots to plug it in on the outlet. 
we have like um elect or what is it called we have like a strip in the living room and then we also have one of these in the living room but it's got like six spots to plug in but for the other rooms i don't think we have them so i got two of these ones where the back looks like that and i thought for being at the dollar tree i thought these were a really good deal because i looked at these at walmart and i think they were like five bucks each um, I don't know if they only had three on them, but so like I said, I got two where the prongs look like that. And then they also had this one and I just got one of these. This one is for the more heavy duty um, outlets that require more power. So the back looks like that and it's got the third prong on it. So this one as well, it doesn't swivel, but it still has three spots to plug in and you can plug in um, the items with the third prong. And so I just thought those were a really good deal and I was really excited to get those. It's going to make um, life a lot easier as far as plugging stuff in, not having to unplug this or unplug that or, you know, especially there's a spot in the living room next to my little um, fireplace. Um, it's one of the fireplaces I bought at Walmart. We're always like, well, my son, he's always unplugging this or that to plug in his charger and this and that. So that'll just make it a lot easier. Then... You guys know I definitely did not need any more car air fresheners, um, but I could not pass this up. It's in the um, Dollar Tree brand, so I wasn't too excited about that, um, but I had never seen... I may have briefly seen them last year, but I can't be for sure. Um, it's the Car Freshener 3-pack of the Pumpkin Spice, and so you get three of them. So I was really excited about that because um, I don't... I don't know if I, I don't think I've seen these at Dollar Tree. And like I said, unless I briefly saw them last year, but I don't think so. I think these are going to be perfect for fall. I couldn't smell what they smelled like, but I can imagine they probably smell really good and you get three of them. So I thought that was a good deal. Then, um, you guys know I have a weak spot for bags and gift cards. <clears throat> this was a 50 cent card, you guys, and it's so stinking cute. Tell me that is not really cute. It's got the little girl in her tutu with glitter, her little striped Halloween tights, and then look, she's got the little Crocs on with glitter, and then it's got the glitter border, and yes, I don't have a daughter, um, but because this card was only 50 cents, and then look at the leaves, they have glitter on them too, because it was 50 cents and because it was so cute, I decided I'm going to get it and I'm going to cover up um, the daughter with maybe like those big rhinestones that I bought or I'll figure out a way to cover up the daughter So I got the orange envelope and then on the inside it doesn't say anything about daughter on the inside So it says guess what daughter and it says Halloween is here and everyone knows you're as cute as can be right down to your toes Happy trick-or-treat day So like I said gonna cover up the daughter and definitely could not pass this card up for 50 cents I just thought it was way too adorable So I got that Then I got this, and I thought this had more of a variety of stickers inside, but they're still cute for a dollar. I got the Minnie Mouse stickers, and it's got four sticker sheets. You get over 200 stickers, and when you open it, it's got two of each page. Every page looks exactly the same, but if you actually look at the stickers in detail, um, there's two pages that are a little bit different. So... All the stickers in the whole sheet are small stickers like this, but like I said, you get over 200 for a dollar. I thought that was a really good deal, and they're super, super cute. I love the bows. So then when you turn the page, um, that's what the second sheet looks like. Look at that cute little purse that says pink. So you get two of the first sheet that I showed you and two of this sheet. So yeah, they look similar, but it has different type stickers on the sheets but they're all shaped the same and about the same size so I thought that was a good deal and who doesn't love Minnie Mouse and Daisy Duck here is another card that I got this was also 50 cents so I got both of the cards for a dollar um you guys know I told you Jordan's brother is really sick um I swapped it out for a yellow envelope um because I think it came with baby blue and I thought it was really cute. It's got the glitter and it's got the tissue box, the little star, the soup, the thermometer. And it says, hope you'll soon feel good as new. Sorry, it's hard for me to do it with one hand. Then when you open it, it just says, with happy days ahead of you. So, hope you'll soon feel good as new with happy days ahead of you. And then, of course, we will go ahead and write our own little message in there. And I was going to mail that to the hospital in Reno. 
So I thought that was a cute little get well card. Then um, I had, oh, this was another boring item. I just, believe it or not, we ran out of macaroni and cheese. Like, I don't know. I don't know if Jordan looked good enough. That's unheard of. We always have tons of macaroni and cheese. But Jordan said we were out, but I guarantee you I'll look and we'll still have some. But I picked up one Kraft macaroni and cheese in the original flavor. It's 7.25 ounces. Nothing exciting. Um, I actually do like the Kraft macaroni and cheese. We got the family size macaroni and cheese from Dollar Tree. And I don't know if it was just because Jordan made it. Um, he's usually a pretty good cook. But when he makes macaroni and cheese, he just doesn't make make it the same as me. I make mine really creamy. I add butter, milk, um, and so I don't know if it was just because he made it, but I did not like the flavor of it. So I'm going to try and buy it one more time and make it myself and see if it was just, you know, the fact that he made it a little bit different, but I didn't like it. So I'm going to give it one more chance with the way I make it and see if I like it, but I do like the craft. So then on my hunt list, um, I had posted, I want to say like, Three weeks to a month ago, um, I had saw on DollarTree.com, they had all these really cute 2016 calendars, and um, I'm due for new calendars, and I like to give um, calendars out for Christmas as well. Um, I don't just give that, but I'll put stuff with it, and they had like four or five really cute calendars that I never found at any of the Dollar Trees. One of them said Country Kitchen. I found that one yesterday, but then when I looked on the back, um, I decided to pass up on it, but I did take a picture of it, um, and I haven't posted uh, posted it on Instagram yet, but if you want to see what the Country Kitchen one looked like, go ahead and go over to my Instagram, Breakup to Makeup. It is a really cute calendar, and then there was another one on my hunt list that I actually did buy, and I think it's so cute, and I found it. Um, they also had... Um, I want to say they had like 12 to 10 different styles of calendars in all different boxes. They had one with like giraffes and different animals. This was one of the ones on my hunt list. It's the Enchanted Nature 2016 12-month calendar. I just think it's gorgeous. I love the fact that it's got a crown. I got a similar one to this last year, um, and I gave them out for Christmas as well. So if you look on the back... Look at these really pretty pictures on the calendar. And the thing that I like about calendars is even once the year's over, if you really like a certain picture on it, you can just take the pictures. That's what I did with my Marilyn Monroe calendar from last year. I'm not getting rid of it, and I'm just going to save the pictures. 2015 is not over yet, so I still have it up, but I will save it for the pictures. So look at that gorgeous picture, you guys. It's got the key, the skeleton key, and then look. Look at that bumblebee with the crown. So I bought this as a Christmas present. I'll give it to someone at Christmas. That really cute rabbit. Um, the really pretty... Um, shoot. Why am I forgetting wh what the hell that is called? Oh my gosh. I do this all the time. I know what that bird is called and I cannot think of it. Um, look at the... That kind of looks like the birds that come to my porch. They have yellow and gray on them. The butterfly... Um, I love those, what are those, hydrangeas? I think those are, are those mums or hydrangeas? Um, just the really all different, really pretty pictures. That one says imagine. Um, this one, look at this one, you guys. How beautiful is this calendar? The butterfly with the crown. So this was on my hunt list as well. I saw it, like I said, on DollarTree.com about a month ago. And I, come on, focus. 